how you feeling? Yeah, coming around. Are um, your foot reacting the way you, your ankle, the way you hoped it would to these first few days? On the yeah, it's a few things you got to get used to. It's uh, it's getting back on the ice and it's back to skating and learning how to do a few things. Uh, when you cut a tendon, it's a little different from a little minor injury. So you got to learn how to how to work that tendon again and, and work with it. Are there, are there pain-free days, David, at all? Uh, there's my good days and my bad days. Uh, I'll have a great day and then they come in the next day and have a bad day. So uh, either or, uh, I hope they're always good, but I think I'll always have one of those bad days. How was yesterday's skate? How do you define the pain level yesterday in the skate? Yeah, it's, uh, it gets sore once in a while when I'm on the ice. When you're, when you're skating, you're doing crossovers, you're stopping. When you're using that tendon, you're, you're going to feel the pain and you're going uh, to have some situations like that. What's been the most difficult part of the rehab? Uh, it's a slow rehab. It's 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 not like any other rehab when you break a break an ankle and you can just say six weeks in your back and it's healed. Uh, you cut a tendon and it's gonna reheal itself. It's gonna you gotta do the rehab to do the movements uh, in in with the trainers and in at the gym. It's 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 not fun. It's it's grueling. Uh, you're always in the gym. You're always doing the things. You want to get back on the ice. And you want to play, but. These are the things you got to do to get back on the ice, and now I'm at that sort of uh, that step of back on the ice. Now it's just trying to get back into the game. Was it difficult to be patient through that? Yeah, it is difficult being patient. Uh, for me, I know as a guy, I love playing hockey, and I love being out there with other guys and, and being on the ice instead of sitting in the trainer's room and hanging out with the trainers. But uh, it's uh, it does. It, you you want to be out there, and you think some days you can push it, and you push it too much, and you set yourself behind, and you're just hurting yourself, so I think for myself, it's it's being patient and, and being ready when I when I'm ready. What about your mind? Do you have an idea when you'd like to be back or feel you can be back, or is uh, it just completely up? Who knows? Yeah. Mentally, what has it done for you though, to get back on the ice? Yeah, you, it does. Uh, <coughs> when you're watching and, and you're off the ice, it does screw with your head a lot mentally. And I think when you when you cut a tendon, it's it's a big deal. Uh, you never know. You've heard a lot of stories of. I think I read was it uh, Mike Modano that took six months uh, and he cut almost the same thing. So you hear, you sort of hear some of those things and you have you have that in the back of your head and like when you're going to come back or when it's going to happen. So uh, you do get a little mentally uh, broken down, but I think uh, being in here with all the guys and with the trainers, with them keeping me up to date with with little things and with uh, with them helping me, they've been great. What have you seen from your teammates? Uh, what has been your impression of the team and the struggles they've been going? What What have you seen? The team? Yeah. I thought this was about me. <laughs> well, it's not all about <laughs> you. Oh, <laughs> I thought you guys were asking questions about me. <laughs> Just what, what, it's what you have hey. seen. No, what have no, you I seen? thought I just wanted to hear about me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a road trip and, and are you coming with the oh, club on Sunday? I love road trips. Road trips are fun. It's 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 always great going out. I know, uh, I know going on the road with the guys is always fun. Going out for dinner and and hanging out and, and doing the little things uh, on the road, getting on the plane, and not really in the card games. I stay away from those, but uh, it's it's fun. I don't know if uh, if I'm going yet or not, but uh, it's always great getting on the road with the fellas. So what's, so the, what's the next step for you? Take? It's just getting things together now. I think for myself, it's it's getting it stronger and, and getting it comfortable. Uh, I think you guys see with all the cameras out there, uh, some of the critiquing uh, on my strider. With my uh, with my crossovers and my stops, so it's uh, it's getting that stronger. It's it's basically just learning how to do all this stuff again, because uh, I've been off it for two months. Have you had any conversations with other players that have suffered similar? Uh, I haven't. I think this is really the first one that's really happened. I think, like I said earlier, it was a uh, Mike Medano that that had it before, and I think I read it in the uh, Toronto Star there that that, that uh, it was a it was long and it was slow and. He said it was the worst rehab. Like, remember him saying that? That is, it wasn't fun coming back from that. So I, I could feel that pain too. Were you able to do any conditioning during that time? Like, uh, I know when Tyler had an injury, he did like UBE machine. Like yeah, you can like do that. you can do so much uh, conditioning in in the gym, but nothing compares to the on ice. Uh, I could stay on that bike and that UBE till I die. And the time you get on the ice is, it's just a different kind of conditioning on the ice with the lungs and everything. So I think right now it's, it's getting on the ice and getting my lungs back and, and getting my game ready back. Is it still a lot 